You... No, oh, so you really were just asleep. Oh, thank goodness. What happened? Well, yes, your father did send us, but... Don't say that. He's just caring for you in his own way. Wait, my... Uh, right hand said you were a famous author. <laughs> so you did pursue it. No, I'm just glad you got to do what you always wanted. But something happened, right? I mean, I guess you could say that. I'm here for the job, but... Knowing that it's actually you, though, kind of changes a lot. You know, I tried finding you during our last year of high school. Yeah, but you ended up stopping going to school. I'm sure you had your reasons, right? And it's not like we were close enough for me to just barge in your house to check up on you. That would be rude of me. But I really was curious about you. And I still am. So, how's the gloomy writer I've always known these days? Uh, do you want to talk about it? It's okay, you don't need to force yourself. Alright, what were your works? Since you are a famous author now, right? No need to be shy. Uh, I have? Even from back then. Um... Can I at least get a hint what your first work was? High school. High school. Wait, you were able to publish a book during high school? Why didn't you tell me? Oh, I wanted to be your first fan. <laughs> it's okay. I'm glad you were able to do it, though. Which one was it? Mm, her Undying Hope. Wait! You wrote that? Wait, wait, you're... Oh, I really liked your works. No, I still do. Oh, whoops, sorry. I got a little excited there. <laughs> wait, why did you st... Oh. No, no, it, it's, it's okay. You were doing so well, too. Bona. Uh, oh, that. Um, I've known your name for quite a while now, actually. And besides, it's in the files, too, so... Wait, no, I... Uh, uh, I'm Vita, by the way. <laughs> Sorry I didn't say anything earlier about that. Um, uh, hey, uh, I know this is kind of intruding of me, but uh, is there any specific reason why you suddenly stopped? writing? Mm-hmm. It's okay. You don't have to tell me, no. Uh, right. My job. Uh, uh, well, after seeing you, I kind of forgot about it, actually. But part of it might have something to do with my job, but I also genuinely, genuinely want to help you. You can take your time. If you need any help with anything, I'll be here for you, okay? Do you want to eat anything? I mean, you just woke up, right? You must be starving. I'll go cook you up something. Uh, can I borrow your kitchen? Hmm? Oh, right. Your father probably didn't tell you, but I'll also be staying with you most of the time from now on. <laughs> I'll get you the motivation to keep going. Just you wait. But if you lost a hope to keep going once, I'll make sure to give you a new one. Mm, well, although this isn't part of my job, I'm still doing it for you. Because you need it? I want to get to know more about you too, so... It's okay. <laughs> if the world refuses to give you a happy ending, I'll do whatever it takes in my power to give you one. <laughs> Did I get it right? It's what the partner of the main character says to her, right? <laughs> I am a big fan of yours, after all. Anyway, can I? 
Good. You stay put now, all right, my gloomy rider? <laughs> How is it? Uh, that's great to hear. So, all of those cooking lessons aren't for naught after all. Well, not me per se, but my dad partly forced me to get into it. It was fun though, and I get to use it now. It does make me wonder. You sure do have a fondness for pasta, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm sure it is, but it's unhealthy to eat it every single day. Don't worry, I'll watch your meals for you from now on. Like I said, I'm kind of part of the job, but mostly just me looking out for you. So, uh, what do you usually do these days? I mean, I know you've suddenly stopped writing, but you're still under contract, right? Mm-hmm. So it's not that you quit, but more so you're just on a hiatus, right? I can tell you still want to write. <laughs> there, there. Oh, sorry, I just felt like you needed a head pat, so I just went with it. Sorry, does it bother you? <laughs> I mean, your novels also have them, so I figured. <laughs> because I want to, that's all. Oh. You're still covering your other eye even at home? It's sorry, was it a sensitive topic? You don't really need to hide it from me, though. Uh, why would I be disillusioned by it? But it being different makes it pretty, though. Will you show it to me? Once you're ready, of course. You don't need to write now, so... Only if you want to. Uh, yeah, I saw it before in the library. I thought it was such a pretty color and wondered why you were hiding it. Whoever says it's weird and is judging you for it just doesn't understand. Or rather, they're just jealous because you have pretty eyes. Either way, they're just close-minded and lack intelligence to understand the beauty of it. <laughs> if anyone ever says anything mean about your eyes, I'll just poke theirs out because they don't deserve to see it. <laughs> there you go. You finally smiled. No, no, don't apologize. The smile suits you a lot. <laughs> you really should smile more. See, if you don't, I'll keep calling you Gloomy Rider. <laughs> don't worry, I'll try to make you smile a lot from now on. I'll make it my priority. I want to, though. Alright, uh, do you have anything to do later? Then, why don't we go out? Yeah, maybe you'll get some ideas if we go out, and it'll give you the motivation to write. And you also need to buy groceries, too, since I'll be cooking for you from now on, and there's barely anything in your fridge. Would you like to accompany me? Hmm? Hmm? Great, then we're going after we finish up here. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, uh, do you want anything? Are you sure I can cook you anything, you know? Just say the name and I might be able to make it for you. In my best ability. Mm, you like pasta, right? Should I cook you some spaghetti? That seems like the safest bet. Oh, 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 did you just light up? Hmm, alrighty then, we'll see about that. <laughs> then I'll get some soda. I saw you had some stock in your fridge. <laughs> now where is it? Uh, oh, here they are. Cola. <laughs> From observing. <laughs> okay then, I should also get some vegetables. Oh, sorry, are you having trouble keeping up? Here. <laughs> so I don't lose sight of you, I'll hold down to your hand. <laughs> the 
This should be enough. Oh, there she is. Miss Vita? Hey! Should I bring these back to the apartment? Mm -hmm. Please do. I can't believe you called me here for this. Oh, come on, it's still early after all. It would be such a waste to just go home after grocery shopping. <laughs> Let's go on a date, shall we? I mean, you already took my hand, so you can't say no. <laughs> come on. <laughs> I'll leave the groceries to you, okay? Bye! Yes, Miss Vita. Honestly. Give me a second, and... There! <laughs> of course it is! I mean, you could also use this as reference if you'd like. <laughs> oh right, uh, this could also suit you. Gloomy rider? <laughs> Most of the clothes in your wardrobe are all hoodies, either that or tracksuits. I know they're comfy, but you have such a great figure, see? You'd look great in a lot of clothes. Right here, sick. But, but uh, sorry. But even if you just stay home, it doesn't hurt to dress up once in a while, right? <laughs> I'll get you these, and then we're heading straight home, okay? I'm sorry. No, it's just I almost forgot that you're sick, and I dragged you along with me here. But are you sure? You don't need to force yourself, okay? Don't hesitate to tell me if you're feeling comfortable or unwell. There has to be a bench here somewhere. Uh, there! Let's go. Okay. You sit tight and stay here for a bit while I go pay for these, okay? <laughs> it won't take long. Huh? Oh god, what is someone like you doing here? Ugh, I didn't think I'd see you here. Can you like scram? Waiting for someone? <laughs> Can you wait for them somewhere else? Do you want me to rip that eye patch out of your face again for everyone to see how disgusting your other eye looks like? Scram! Oh, you asked for it. Hey, huh? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> what? Who are you? Her friend. What's it to you? Are you okay? And who gives you the right to just tell her to leave like that? She's stinking up the place. Are you sure it isn't you? I'm calling the staff because of your fall behavior. <laughs> I'm a regular here. You think they'd favor her instead of me? Really? Really. I wanna... No, I won't let this slide. I'll give you a chance to save yourself. If you apologize now, I won't let the situation escalate. And why should I? Because she's also a human being and you had no reason to treat her as such? Show some respect. She doesn't deserve my respect. And you don't deserve mine either. And who the hell are you? <laughs> huh? Why does she always call me out at times like these? Ms. Vita. <laughs> Hi. Uh, call them to blacklist this person from the shop. No. What? I'm asking you for your name. Um. Are you bluffing? Name. Uh, okay, Kim Summers. <laughs> Alright then. I'll make sure to send the message. Tell them I requested it personally. <sighs> Will do. Miss Vita, I know you don't do this a lot, but this person is irregular. I'm surprised they allowed a person like this to be irregular. Don't you think that's much more odd? Perhaps. I'll make them look into it. Thank you. <laughs> Guards escort her out. What? What? Wait, wait, what? Yes. What the hell? Hello? Uh, huh? I'll let go of me. What is this? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh, are you okay? I wanted to. Were... Was she the one who made you cover your eye? Hey, don't worry. They needed to learn their lesson sooner or later. I just gave them the minimum sentence. It could be worse, you know. <laughs> Shall we head home? You're probably tired, right? Come on. No, uh Let me handle the bags. Oh, wait, even better. <laughs> Let me carry them, Miss Vita. 
Thank you. And since my hands are empty, <laughs> I can hold yours. <laughs> Let's go home, my gloomy writer. 